Welcome back. Time for another FD Arena SCC tournament match. This time it will be Rex's Squires against Roroni Elmador's Oracles. So starting off with Rex's team, we have Mira the Squire, Toa the Squire, the Delphi the Squire, and Minerva the Squire. So as we're as we probably know by now, um, right, we have the Ultima Weapon Squire here, very hard hitting Phoenix Blade Squire, Summon Magic, AoE Good Stuff Squire here, and then the Time Magic Squire. I just noticed that the status whip is cute because it slightly boosts the accuracy of Demi 2. So you give Demi 2 a slight dark absorb theme going on, black costume, and Kai Armlet curse ring. In general, just basically, you know, big damage and then time magic to disrupt and keep things moving along smoothly in Rex's favor. As for Elmdor's team, we have Heavy the Oracle, Metal the Oracle. Rock the Oracle, and roll the Oracle. So we have uh, the tanky support mag support uh, white magic Oracle, right, with defense up and the time sin, and damage split. Yeah, mostly there for support, and also a random zombie, good for both raise two from this Oracle in a future turn, or to... Well, zombie's an interesting one in terms of messing with the opponent's team. I'll talk a little bit about that later as the match gets started. Um, summon magic, oracle, free throat, and magic attack up for both max damage summons and very accurate petrifies and beguiles. Which is an interesting choice. I, w I figured I would have gone like um, faith rod than short charge. But that puts more emphasis on the statuses. So, I don't know. It's interesting and well, it's certainly working out so far. This oracle, the two hands oracle. Just big damage snacks from that ivory rod. And still has median faith at 55 for the random sleeps. And then we have a very minimalist and distracty Oracle, right, with Abandon and the Aegis Shield Leather Mantle. Wow, huge emphasis on the M Evade. Um, this one, Octagon Rod for random frog prox, which is always good. And then I think it's Haste 2, Slow 2, Stop. And there might have been one yin yang magic, which I forgot. So, how will this match go? I think. Well, evasion is going to be a thing. Is there. No, oh, just evasion on this one. Um, but. Not too much. There's definitely some evasion on Rex's side to deal with statuses and some of the summons as well, I think. Counter magic on both sides will be very interesting for the statuses. Either time magic or union magic flying around. And even the summons, actually. It's, and oh my goodness, the counter magic summon from this oracle will hurt a lot. Um, watch for a sinkhole from Rex's Squire. I believe this unit will move last. All the units are at 8 speed, except for this one. Um, so this Squire will be moving last, so watch for the sinkhole. And of course, time magic should always be relevant from both sides. And then. Yeah, my gut feel is that hmm, I'm leaning towards the oracles, but we'll see. We'll have to see what happens. And for that, first match taking place on map 82, Bed Desert. Oh, that's an interesting one because of the choke point. Assuming spawn points have not changed, and they have not. So, people will be moving towards that little area near the oracles into that, I guess, the eastmost corner where that squire is moving, basically. Oh wow, instant cure. Just just to poke around. Um, zombie is an interesting one for dis for to try and disrupt the uh, enemy's team because, on the one hand, if you down an undead unit, they can't revive. They can't revive that unit. They have to wait, right? Um, however, what that means is that usually. When you drop a unit, you're counting on another enemy unit's um, another enemy unit spending a turn to revive the unit. 
So with an undead one, they just keep going on the offense. And oh my goodness, um, pretty good damage shot gets blocked. And now, again, no, they're at the choke point. Uh, that Squire blocking the way, so all the Oracles are moving back, which actually is going to make things a little bit awkward for Rex. He has to um, reposition himself. Get a hit. Oh, counter that was cute. Throw stone! That also cancels charging. Looks like another Leviathan coming in. Big AoE. Can get rid of the random. Oh my god, and there's the sinkhole as well. So actually with that, Rex is in a pretty good spot. The Protect will minimize the big damage Squires, the male Squires, both hit very hard. Damage spin, auto potion, minimizing damage so far. Ooh, steel accessory. Who was that? Which one was that one? That could have been very relevant. A little bit heal up, it looks like. Wow, big numbers. The sleep lands, it's pretty huge. And the shell too. That's, so those oracles are in very much in, in tanking land right now. Counter magic stop, there we go. Huge, but also note the counter magic does cost MP, that Squire's running low on MP. Squire's going in, oh my god, slow two catching all four units. That was huge. I don't act as well, admittedly on the stopped one, but oh, but there's a counter magic! <gasps> Getting big damage. Wow, this is so weird. It goes after the useless oracle. It looks like another Moogle. Does Moogle really have three AoE? Holy crap. And oh boy, a big charm lands. Big charm lands. This is not looking good for Rex. Despite the slow. There's a Demi, heals people up, gets a little bit of damage in, which mostly mit mitigated by the auto potion, and then, wow, counter magic doing funny things, undeads everywhere, that Moogle's not going to be very effective for that oracle now, but the charmed unit and slow wears off already, Rex could not capitalize on that whatsoever due to the charm and the sleeping squire, that's huge, big damage, ultimate proc gets the kill, Is this Oracle going for? That's probably the Time Magic Oracle then. Oh goodness, slow two. Counter Magic only catches one. Oh, second Counter Magic. Sort of got a sandbag loop going, but... And because of the counter magic, MP is actually very much an issue for Rex. Wait, a fairy and then raise two is also being cast? Or is it on the squire? It looked like it was being cast onto the oracle. It was raised two. Wow, AI, you're what what are you doing? Well. The squire has none of that. Big damage, but it right into an HP restore. Wow, and suddenly I... Things got a lot closer again. I, I, I have to say who's at the upper hand. I feel like Rex is at the upper hand. It's really close. I know that much. There's a cure. Uh, the ultimate, when's the ultimate blade squire moving in again? That'll be the big deal. Oh, Southern Cross. Four law of damage. Drops that oracle. Rex is in the lead now. Very much so. Those male squires do a ton of damage. Oh, Carbuncle very much needed for the MP. Again, Rorini needs to land some statuses to help come back, but um, counter magic. Maybe it runs into a counter magic. It could backfire pretty spectacularly. Gets a kill. Is able to move in for a redirect, but does not. Oh, I guess it's just a raise two, anyways. Moving away seems like a very strange thing to do, right? Like waiting, like if we we're human, we'd probably just wait or even move in. But, oh my god, that self was huge. Landed don't act on both units. Holy crap. White robe, 
And that Oracle took very little, along with Protect and Defense up. Squire showing off her Summon Sweet, gets the double kill, and Rex takes round one. Let's see what happens in round two. Round two, taking place on map 111, Lappin. If anyone has teleport, they could go up, which could be funny. And it's, oh my god, very small map, and gets a charm right off the bat. Oh boy, and 94% petrify. Holy crap. Um, I think those, the race two and the petrify both cost the same amount, or both the same CG. So chances are Rex on Dead Squire will go down, and then the petrify will happen. Oh, never mind, Sinkhole except epic, it misses! Sinkhole misses! Sleep goes off first and connects! Never mind! Race 2 connects! But big Cyclops! Oh, only on one unit. But still, solid damage. Little cure, actually, very, very respectable. And that's instant. Looks like I got through the evade too. Now Sleep's coming in? Wow. That missed sinkhole just ruined Rex's day. And now a double sleep. And a stop just for fun. Oh my god, 566 from that oracle. Who'd have thunk it? But yeah, Elmsdor is in a really strong position, I think. 96% stop. First a dead squire. On dead squire, about to get up. Slow catches, does catch everyone. That'll help buy some time. Up he comes. Down goes one oracle. It's there for a raise two. Oh, that's a sinkhole. 89% misses again. This is like gate busters. Raise two missing. All over again. Oh my goodness. Goes for, I assume, a Moogle. But there's some magic. Sleep on three units now. Oh, the Moogle he hurts her friend because I'm dead. This looks like a haste two. Walks right into this, the AoE. Wow, haste two to perfectly count. Oh, then land is slow too for his own. And then there's the haste two to counter. But more sleep incoming. Miss. Miss. 70% gets guarded as well. And Rex is making quite the comeback. Down goes an Oracle. And they're all slowed. Mo two of them are slowed. Suncross gets guarded. That's pretty relevant. That looks like a Demi. Gets a heal. Oh, big damage. Broad smack, though. Hits through the abandon. The evasion. Looks like Cyclops is being charged. And then likely a Demi-2. Connect. Oh, counter magic! Heals because of the magic ring. Does get big damage. More healing. Wow, the counter magic is actually backfiring horribly for Ruroni Elmsor. And then it's now a Southern Cross. The timing. Big crit to drop one Oracle right as she gets her turn. As she was about to get her turn. Wow. Big stop coming in. Goes for a demi. And not like a sinkhole. Sinkholes seemed like it would have been really good there. Leviathan. Cancels a protect. Oh boy, double stop. Amador's turning around. This match has been awesome. One shot. Wish back up and now a zombie incoming 
Looks like a Cyclops of Elmdor's own. Wow. And then the slow two. What a match. The undead squire is about to get back up. Possibly. This is of course only 50-50 chance, like that petrify. Never goes for a sinkhole. This time it finally connects. Wow, 98% shot from behind misses. Petrify gets guarded. Cow counter magic! Oh, misses. Oh my god, did spell absorb? Oh wow, out of MP! White Magic Oracle is out of MP! That spell absorb was huge! That was the unique magic I forgot on the Time Magic Oracle. Slower's off, but Raise 2 connects. It's the Petrify. And Elmdor takes round 2. Wow. What a crazy fight. This has been awesome. Exciting conclusion. Coming right up. Round three, map 80, Aragoy Woods. Wow. Two missing holes for Rex on round two. Those might have cost him the round in the match, but we'll see what happens. It's hard to say. So a lot of crazy stuff happened. That was lively awesome. So, people are charging stuff. That's like a Demi too. Sinkhole seemed like it would've been good, and indeed, the Demi 2 misses everyone. Even the counter magic missed. Sleep catches one, catches two units. Follow-up stop also catches them, and seems to stand them straight up. Raise two misses. Good for Rex, otherwise he would've been at a huge disadvantage right off the bat. But that also happened last game. It turned out okay. Zombie going off, Wax coming in. Big damage. Haste coming in as well. Thinking what to do. That looks like the single and it's 100%. Thank you, Faith Rod. Turns her back to the Oracles for some reason. Very unclear why. Whoa. Undead. That's the White Magic Oracle. That is undead, I believe. Down goes one. Counters for huge damage. And drops that Oracle as well. What is happening? Again, watch for the sinkhole. That squire is incredibly important. It lands. Stop connects. And now a charm lands on the white magic oracle. Oh, that's huge. Except it's just an Asuna. But still a big waste of a turn. Stop is charged. Re-raise. Cast on himself and walks away instead of going instead of even attempting in a a what do you call it? A redirect. Slow too. Interesting. The uh, everyone's kind of. Oh my God! Wish for seventeen just cause and then the damage that was that was cute. Cause there's undead. That was really funny. Cells are actually kind of relevant. Scars do not have much MP and they are and counter magic is very much a thing in this match. Race two incoming. I'm oh, just gonna change to eat all the white magic squires MP. Squire, ooh, misses the charm. And now that oracle's back up. To do nasty things like charm. Well, is this Squire? Nope, goes for Demi and not. Single must have been too late. Charm does land. Oh, so much damage. No Ultima proc was pretty big. Still enough MP for counter magic. Runs bad. Okay, not into AoE of our other friends. <laughs> Gets a crystal for all the MP again. Oh, that was an Oracle's. I, I, I don't know what to say. That's just a weird charm wears off just in the nick of time. Guarded! Scooch in two. 
That evasion kicking in. So important. There's a sylph. Squire goes 70%, charm misses! That could be a problem because if uh, a petrify on the undead unit, that unit won't automatically come back. Indeed, he's in the very corner of the map as well, funnily enough. Dice gets up from re raise. Re raises himself again. Oh, that other squire was zombied. That's right. And because this, the, the female squire is doesn't have curse ring, she she does she can crystallize. She can crystallize. We'll have to see very soon. Two v one. Here's the move going. Wow, what a match. She gets back up. It's the time magic squire. Big balance. Big damage. Counter magic. Kills. Holy crap. Throw stone for one sixty six damage. Wow. Two. That canceled. A much needed petrify. And with the Leviathan, Rex takes the match. Wow. These matches have been amazing. What have I been doing not recording for you guys all this time? Okay. Congratulations, Rex. You're moving on. You'll be facing Gatebuster. In the semifinals of the winner's bracket, Elmdor, welcome aboard the Doom Train. Don't have too much longer to go, because um, we're getting towards the end of the tournament. I mean, wow, um, yeah, awesome stuff. Um, this will be the last match I record for the tournament. Turning everything over to Baron for the rest of the winner's bracket, and of course Gatebuster and Corosar for the loser's bracket. Thank you everyone for participating and for bearing with me. I've been the one holding up the tournament essentially. <laughs> um, so thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully I've still been entertaining and or insightful. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had fun. Should be. It was another really good match. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys some other time. Take care. Bye.